All right, well, let's go ahead and get cracked in. See what we got and get her started. I'm actually really kind of excited about this one. Um, I intend to kind of treat it like a... It, it's basically going to be a challenge, right? There's a whole bunch of pieces, parts, etc. And a whole bunch of... Kind of needless. I don't want to say needless. Kind of, kind of over the top details, right? So full interior that you're pretty much not going to see. Going to need to find ways to make it visible. Um, or do that kind of thing and so that'll that'll be some problem solving i guess but the the whole point of doing this one is all right let's do all that just for the fun of it um so i expect i'm gonna run into some challenges and so forth so let's let's go ahead and get this stuff laid out kind of laying out the parts i'll probably edit all this stuff out wheel parked off to the side, turret. I still think that's really cool. Now, I've done some research. I, <clears throat> I looked up some of the stuff on like what the interior is supposed to look like. Um, I'm still not entirely clear on the lend lease if like what <clears throat> I, I'm pretty sure that they would have been and, it, and I'm saying this without having done the research. I'm pretty sure they would have been painted or at least primered at the factory. And thus, the paint on this wouldn't, would not be the Russian B.O. paint, which is essentially a paint and primer all in one. So when the weathering is done later, that is different, right? So interesting about, you know, weathering Russian tanks like it... Uh, T thirty four or KB two, right? The 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 Russian green paint is a paint and primer in one, and so when you're weathering, you're going to have a variance in color, but not a discrete ch quote unquote chipping effect. And when you're and again, I'm going to do the Russian. I may like fiddle with the numbers. I might not. I don't know. We'll see. But the um. The chipping and so forth for a, a like a German is you'll chip down to the primer and you'll see that red. So I want to look that up and see what the, the primer would end up looking like and how maybe how they did it. We'll see just how, how anal I want to be on it. Um, all right, so it looks like we start there. I'm going to go ahead and lay things out and we'll kind of get cracking in. Um, like I said, I believe I understand that this part here, this assembly is something of a something of a little bit of a challenge to orient. But let's go ahead and we'll take it one step at a time. Let's crack in. So what I find is some of these seams, they go together well, but the parts just are a little bit off. So you end up having to sort of walk down the seam line and this is pretty much all around. They they click together. They they fit well, but you do kind of have to massage the assembly. Like here, I I do it at one end, and I kind of walk down um, from one end to the other. And this is what I'm finding I have to do a lot um, with a lot of these seams. Um, also here with like I think this is the transmission. Um, some of the holes aren't complete either they're not all the way through or they're just a little narrow so i have to go back with my variable speed drill and clear them out right and just get that to go um and then again here we look at the body and again these fit but they're really snug so again i have to start at one end glue them up and sort of walk my way down the length of the body of the thing Okay, so I am as far as step 16, which is this seat here, which goes here behind the driver, which is right there. And this build is interesting. Now, I do not have this panel glued on yet. Um, I just kind of fit it on to look at how some of these things are going and what I would need to do or if there's, you know, work that needs to be done. Anyway, um, the interesting thing about this build 
is really having to go through and do so much detail painting step by step. You know, it's it's not like you can do the assembly and then go back and detail paint, which, you know, in, in a lot of armor kits you can do. You can kind of put it together and then paint because you're all painting the outside. This is, you know, it, it's like, you know, three quarters of the kit is like doing the cockpit of an aircraft because, you know, you're doing the interior. So you pretty much have to do each of the pieces. You have all the color call outs all through here on what colors you need to make them and, and where they need to go. And that's what I've been doing is going through and painting the pieces, getting them in place. Um, yeah, I did where is it? Yeah, yeah, I did the other Thompson, you know, the other, uh, I know what gun that is, but I can't remember the name of it. You know, I'm having to paint these things prior to going through and, and put them all in place, which means we're going much more slowly. And it's much more of a deliberate build, which is kind of neat, right? It's, it's an interesting, it's an interesting way to do it. And I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. So, so that's fun. Um, but you do have to pay attention. You have to slow down and look at what you're doing. Look at where these parts go. And I think, yeah, I'm probably saying the obvious, right, to just about everybody else who's who's done this kit or has done kits like this. Um, I intentionally picked this model for this challenge, right? This, this is a challenge for me. Now, I know that when I put this together, there's very little I'm going to be able to see, you know, we're, we're going to have like hatches and that's, that's going to be it. We're going to have the hatches and doors. I'm going to have to do them open so that I can see in, but a lot of the detail I'm doing here and a lot of the weathering I intend to do, is not going to be visible. Now I know that there are people who have done this where tops can come off and they can show it off. I, I don't want to do that. I want to do this in, in a scene and what you see is what you see. Um, so I'm probably, you know, a lot of this stuff is, I could cheat and sort of shortchange, but I'm really enjoying the challenge that is building this. A couple of things to think about though, right? Um, you have to be really careful. Like you can see through there that that fit is just a little, there, there's, it's a little bit gappy and it's this piece, right? So you see how this piece comes right up to that line. And that's what's happening here is this piece is just like a part of a millimeter long. So when I glue this together, there is going to be a seam to fill. Now, I mean, again, it's the seam along a plate. So that's actually the, it's appropriate. Um, but there will be work to do on the outside once I get to it. This has been, you know, I mean, it is what it is. So here's where I am now. I just have to keep going back with each step. Like when I do this one, I'm going to have to go look at the colors here, look those up, look up the colors here, make sure I get the right ones, put them together, get them in place, you know, and then, then this site, then these two panels can go on. And then I've got these two. And then we move on into doing the engine, um, which will also be entertaining. So looking that up and getting, getting detail put in there. All right. And now at the end of step 18, not on page nine, it's time to actually do something that, well, actually it's the first time I've done it. And that's to actually kick in, break out the oils and do weathering before I move on to next steps. So what we've done is we go ahead and at this point we've got the whole thing done. Now I've already done the weathering. Or at least the the put yeah I've done the weathering on the inside and so this is when you get to this step this is how far you are and um, I believe like this is also internal because I believe this is this gets built out and I believe these are also going to be internal but I don't think you're gonna see anything here anyway um, as the next layer of pieces get laid on top of this. I'm not going to be able to get to the points down further. So it was time to go ahead and get the dirt and grime from uh, to the interior. Now, this one's not clean. It's, I, I'm not like 
I do want to go back and hit with a little more chipping. I have done chipping, right? I've done a decent amount of chipping through here. And you, again, you have to do these, or at least for me, I had to do these in layers. So as, as we started putting these pieces in, we had to chip them to get to them. Um, I'm still missing the doors. I forgot I had to do those. They're sitting over there. Um, but, you know, there's there's chips here. You can see, I mean, they're they're blatant. They're, they're more obvious here, here, and here. Um, but I didn't really want to go ahead and chip them too much. This was just dry brush to bring up the um, texture. And then just hit it with the oils. Now, this is interesting. It's the first time, well, interesting for me anyway. It's the first time I've used these, these ammo oil brushers. And there's a billion, there are a billion, uh, videos out there on using these. Um, I like them there. I really do. They work really well. Um, that's what they look like. They're basically mascara brushes with oil paint. Um, they're fairly thick, which is good. Cause that's, that's what I need. Um, and they went on and, and thinned out really well. Now these are still, it's still damp. There we go. Um, but I've gotten what I need. Now, again, I remember everything in here, you're going to see so little of it because the hatch, all of the hatches are going to be open. So, you know, I've got that hatch right there. That's open, but that's a hatch from the, um, the back end. And I think this is a hatch that's over top of the engine deck. If I remember right, I'm not certain. Um, but my plan is actually to have the engine deck removed. At least that's that's my current thought. Um, but even so, you know, the the only view inside is going to be through hatches. You know, whatever the, the commander's cupola will be open, the hatch, the doors on the side will be open, and that's going to be what you can see through, which is going to be so so little compared to what's actually here. Um, but I wanted to get it done anyway, and I wanted to go ahead, and I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this part of it. It's, it's making this build go very, very slowly. Um, so now I actually need to let this dry. It's going to take a, a, a bit, but that's okay because I can set this aside. And the next step is to work on the engine. Um, and that's, that's what's going to be the next step. So I'm going to set this aside. Um, it, like I said, this is this is really interesting because I'm having to do things in different ways, following different methodologies and, and, and building in, in different orders than I have before. And that's good. That's, you know, the whole learning thing. So we will go ahead and move on to the to work building the engine and then we'll see what's next. OK, so. I was going to go ahead and actually do the bit about the engine too, but that one ended up um, like making this video like twice as long. So I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And what we've seen so far, actually, this is really, really entertaining. Um, I hope it's not incredibly boring for y'all, but I'm just pointing out the things as I walk through them and, and as I learn. Um, building this kit is, it, it has its own challenges. The fit is good. But it's just a little bit fiddly and what i'm finding is the the parts are designed to go together with very very tight tolerances so once you paint them and get them in place they're just a little off so you've got to kind of be really aware of what we're doing so with that said um i'm going to go ahead and end this video here thank you very much for watching i hope it's useful entertaining and uh you know worth the time and please feel free if you have any suggestions or comments please feel free to put them down below and uh you know just make sure to keep them respectful and i'm all good until next time though thank you very much and happy modeling <laughs>